Hello and welcome to another episode of Critical Coffee Considerations with me, Francis Peck. Today we have Coffea Torrendum Interruptus with the expanded chimney. So basically, we now also have a shaft collector. That's the theory. Now we'll see what happens in practice. So we have 150 grams of Honduras beans. Yes, the spot on the map indicates exactly where it's coming from, through Kruport. So adding them to the popper. And that really 150 grams, it really fills up the popper. That's why there's no other choice than working with this kind of expanded chimneys. But what's with the interruptus, of course? What will happen? We'll see it in a short while. So actually with this chimney, I can prevent the shaft from escaping. They are turning around, so you should never go above a certain rate where there's no movement in the beans. It's a slow kind of moving around. Of course, the air is already adding heat to the beans. What we know with the popper and this kind of fluid roasting is that it goes very quickly. So professional roasters would say that it's going too quickly. You cannot get a nice enough, let's say, um, roast profile as you would with a professional machine. But, okay, now we're getting into the part of the interruptors. So we're just interrupting it now also for a minute and really just Steering the beans. You can use both ends, although you should make a choice and stick with it because of course as you're going in there it is it is hot. So this is actually kind of for a little moment stops the heating process. So all we have is what's already in the system. So we're doing this just also actually we're going to switch having a minute and a minute, so kind of really allowing um, the heating process not, let's say, to exaggerate that. So in theory, you would expect first crack, not, okay, now we're at two minutes. Oh, oh. of course, this now really uh, stirred up all the shafts so that Collector is not working ideally, let's say. As this is going on... Hello, I'm Francis Peck, here for another bit for Critical Coffee Considerations. So now I'm actually trying to expand my chimney for the popper roaster, let's say, with a shaft collector by using this uh, bigger container and um, try to have it fit let's say nicely on top of the current chimney so um, it's actually pretty easy if I'm able if I would be able to get an opening here so to do that, we'll be using some power tools. Let's say I'll keep it here just for memory's sake. When I make the first opening with power tools, always be very careful, of course. Never have them plugged in before you're actually using it. OK, 
Okay, so that is the first hole. Of course, the question is, can I go in there with my seesaw? Okay, I'll unplug this one. Remove. this will require being extra careful I put in the steel saw okay so this is not this is not what you want of course it's because it doesn't have a lot of movement yet or flexibility to really move okay let's give it a second try Okay, this will work at some point, but I forgot to put in my earplugs. Also very important when you're working with power tools. So I'll just continue creating a circle here so that it then fits on top of that. And then in a roasting video, we'll see if this idea uh, turns turns into something okay so let's see that how that goes in the next bit starts happening any second now actually because usually we would get it around three minutes and a half so very quickly as it kind of stirring and now I'm, I'm hearing the first step in this case Probably still an outlier. I'm really kind of going in the in the browning phase now. But at this point, I'm no longer going to stop the copper. I'm going to let it go into first crack. And then wait just just a little bit before actually uh, pulling them down. For first crack. Oh, there. Oh, yes. Yes. Now, now we're now we're getting into a cat. So when you when you don't do this interrupter, you really kind of got. So that's that, that was around seven seven minutes ten seven minutes thirty. You know. Kind of in a first, a rolling first track, so that that is good. Now the color looking quite quite even. I guess I will round it up at at eight minutes of roasting. That would be nice. So just still no heat coming out of here. That's that's also good. We will just. For this first experiment, we're really going for this kind of uh, yes, light mode section. Okay. 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 So, how do they look? How do they look like? This is a light mode now. Well, there's still there's still different of the of the colors. There is, but it's comparing it to earlier rows. It's really a lot more even. Everything will depend on how the how the taste 
ends up like, of course. So let's uh, let's turn this off. Okay, so uh, first experiment looking good. I will uh, let you know how this uh, Gofea Torendum Interruptus works out, but we have again a different kind of method of exploring with the cheap hopper and, and doing the, the home roasting. So um, talk to you about it next time. Have a great day.